Today what we're doing is we're taking part in the uh, Global Cardboard Challenge. All the children here from grade one to grade five have been collected into teams uh, of varying age ranges and they've had time to wonder about what it would be like to create a game out of cardboard. So they went through a process of wondering, then they decided to design a game, and today is our final, our second final thing where they are actually building the game. A makerspace can be two things. It can be a place where you have tools and ideas and uh, materials for kids to make, but it also is a point of view. It's a way of thinking about curriculum, thinking about well, how kids can show their learning by making things. I'm doing the cardboard challenge in, with my two friends here and we're making a bowling alley. Adam brought some water bottles so instead of making one of the throwing things and falling into a hole, arcade game, we decided to make a bowling alley. Some things didn't stand up like paper towel rolls and we just had to use a lot of tape and trying to keep it to stand up. I believe that maker spaces are becoming more commonly used because the students we're teaching today are different from the students of yesterday. And what we want to do is we want to teach them those ideas of critical thinking, collaboration, how to fail, how to make mistakes, how to go back and revise and edit. We used to do that with paper and pencil and we still do many times. But this allows them the opportunity to create with their hands. It engages them. Again, we can use it cross-curricular in many different activities. And it brings out those 21st century learnings that we're looking for.